Hi, Sunshine Families. This week we're going to be learning about a little bit of flowers. Now, you want to hear a joke? Wait, wait. Did I hear you telling a joke? Yep. What flower grows on your face? Hmm? I don't know. Two lips. Get it? Two lips. <laughs> Today, our craft is painting flowers with salt. You'll need paper. You can use white or black. If you have thicker paper, like construction paper or cardstock, that's better, but if not, it's fine. You'll need, you can use dye or paint. You can use a paintbrush, and if you have a dropper at your house, you need some Elmer's glue or like any type of glue. Wet glue. Wet glue and salt. Get your glue and outline your picture and flower. Think of your design. Since we're doing flowers this week, she's doing a flower. And just take your glue. You're not gonna color in the glue in the middle, just do an outline. And you can do it on the black paper. She's doing a different kind of flower. It's time to add the salt. It's easier just to pinch it on top of the glue. Or you can just take your salt shaker. Here, take the salt shaker, just shake it on. Try that. So you're gonna try to cover all of the glue. And then it's okay if it's extra because we'll just shake all the excess glue off. So then you'll just kind of Maybe tap it from the back a little bit and just kind of shake off some of that extra salt. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be kind of raised up, the salt. And now the hard part, you have to wait until it dries. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let our pictures, our salt pictures, are going to dry. So we wait about half an hour for these to dry. And now the best part. So now I have my dye and my paint. I'm going to show you both ways. All right, so you just get a little bit. So we just put a little bit of water, a couple drops of food coloring. Wait, okay. Just start okay. with one part of your salt. And just let it travel down. Oh, see it, look at what's happening on its own. Do you, do you see, you don't need to add more right there because it's already traveling down. If you don't have a dropper, you can just use a paintbrush. And use the dye. And just dip. Whatever. And just time. let it travel down yourself. And see what happens. The more water you add into the paint, then it'll travel down. Woo! See, it's like traveling on the left. See if it looks. Get a little bit more paint on there. Squeeze a little bit more. Let's see if it'll travel up. Mm -hmm. okay. So she's using the paintbrush. She's just adding a lot of water. Just getting a little bit more and dipping it into the color. And then drop. Just dropping it on. Mm, like that was going that way. Oh. So you can either use food coloring with water, or if you have watercolor paints and a brush, you could do that too. And when you're Using the paintbrush, you just want to drop it on. You don't want to actually paint on it. Because then, then it'll like. Might like, move the, the salt. Like, the salt will like just break and crumble. Yeah, it might break the salt. So you're just kind of dipping it drop. on. Drop. 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 Yeah.